NBC News in depth tonight is old fashioned rock and roll radio an endangered species. When a big New York oldie station changed formats recently, its listeners were heartbroken. And it turns out they're not alone. More and more older Americans over 40 are realizing there's no music they want to listen to on broadcast radio anymore. In depth tonight, here's NBC's Ann Thompson. Long before the digital age, there was the age of vinyl and the music that defined the baby boomers, the Beatles, the Supreme, the Beach Boys, the bread and butter of all these stations that for decades could be found on any FM dial almost anywhere. But today, the oldie station seems to be going the way of the Nehru jacket and the beehive hairdo. Over the last couple of years, you've seen stations wandering away from the 50s and 60s oldies format at the rate of one or two a month. The latest casualty, Bruce Morrow, New York's legendary DJ, Cousin Brucey. Now we're giving you the top 40 songs for the class of 1961. This month, his radio home, WCBS-FM, a perennial top 10 station, switched formats, ditching oldies for the jack format. Songs from the 70s to 90s played like an iPod on shuffle and ditching Brucey and what he says is a lucrative audience. As they've decided that if uh, you're 43 years or older, you're ready for uh, pre-burial. A 50-year-old person today and a 60-year-old person today is extremely productive and has tremendous spendable income. So what about all those people? They are victims of radio economics and their age. Madison Avenue and the advertising agencies and their clients are looking for younger demographics today. Um, and that's what we're seeing and that's the reason for the change. In fact, today, one-fifth of the nation's top 100 markets don't have an oldies station. But along with playlists, the business is changing and satellite radio is filling the void. Next month, Cousin Brucey will join Sirius Radio's growing stable of stars. Fans will have to buy the service to hear his two shows a week, playing the music he loves. I'm going to play music now that they haven't heard in years because I'm not stuck with 280 records anymore. The promise of freedom and a wide open playlist, a new technology ready to give older listeners what they want. -E Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.